leading orthopedic surgeon from India, shares his education and experience. He has experience and training from India, England, Germany, the U.S., Switzerland, Australia, and Singapore. He also talks about the use of stem cell therapy in orthopedics. The center is to work uh, in tandem with a uh, neurophysician, neurological group, so that uh, we sort of justify all the surgeries, looking at all the alternatives before jumping in for surgery. From the range of non-operative to the highly invasive operative surgeries, the whole gamut of surgeries are available in our center. Uh, from nucleoplasty, where we try to shrink the size of the disc using uh, electromagnetic fields, to uh, minimally invasive surgeries like uh, minimally invasive uh, posterior lumbar interbody fusion or uh, uh, trans uh, pedicular fusions. Uh, from there to invasive surgeries like large decompressions, correction of deformities, um, the entire gamut is what we offer. So in our range we would have uh, one extreme disc replacement, so cervical and lumbar disc replacements we are done in large numbers, spinal fusions using either the minimally invasive open technique depending upon the case, uh, spacer devices like DM or coflex, uh, then using nucleoplasty like I talked about to shrink, shrink the size of the disc, nerve root blocks, uh, facetal blocks, etc. The entire range is available to us. We do a large number of uh, hip and knee replacements uh, and uh, we also do what in the knee replacement we do high flex knees, we use uh, ceramic joints. Uh, we also now have started using uh, uh, computer aided uh, uh, surgery. Here what I'm talking about is that you make the entire jig uh, before the patient actually comes onto the table. So uh, three weeks or four weeks before you get an MRI done of the knee and you get an x-ray full length x-ray and you send it across to the company and they work on the on the model using this as a baseline and they send you the jig that is required for this particular patient. It is not usable for anyone else. So with using that one jig you make all your cuts and you complete the entire surgery. Uh, so it becomes minimally invasive and it is very patient friendly about seven to eight thousand knees are being done like this uh, whereas there are about three hundred thousand knees being done in uh, America alone. Now inside the operation theater computer assisted uh, knee replacement or hip replacement surgery is we've been doing it for a long time and uh, that has improved our results and uh, reduced the chances of malalignment and uh, f uh, bad uh, m uh, post-operative movement so it increases the range of movement gives comfort to the patient, less uh, cutting of the skin and soft tissues that you have to do. We do minimally invasive arthroscopic uh, surgeries of the shoulder which would include uh, 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 what is known as a chromioplasty where you increase uh, the space for the rotator cuff in the shoulder. You repair the rotator cuff arthroscopically. We have also done uh, shoulder replacement, essentially surface replacement uh, procedures total shoulder replacement and now we have also done what is known as a reverse shoulder. Now the reverse shoulder is a case where the ball is shifted onto the axial side that is towards the scapula and the socket is on the other side. So this is known as a reverse shoulder replacement. Uh, works very well especially in patients who have very arthritic shoulders associated with severe soft tissue damage around the shoulder. Medical Tourism Corporation facilitates affordable medical and dental treatment at world-class international hospitals and clinics. Fill out the estimate request form on our site medicaltourismco.com for a free quote and more information.